here getting ready to show you a generator running on propane. The cool thing about this is you can run your generator on gasoline if it's available or an emergency situation you can run it on propane and the good thing about propane is propane does not go bad. You can store it indefinitely. Gasoline you can't do that with. Um, if you want to see all the parts and how those all those parts fit together and how and why this actually works please watch my part one part two and part three videos on converting lawn mowers to run on propane but if you can do a lawn mower you can do a generator which in an emergency situation is really good so let me show you this and uh, the parts and then we'll show you um, the generator running so basically got a regular generator here store-bought generator the fuel there's no fuel in the tank but just to be sure on the video this is the uh, fuel lever for gasoline is set to off this is a hole that I drilled in the air box Put in a quarter inch barb valve, or excuse me, a quarter inch barb fitting that goes to a quarter inch black fuel hose. Now, I have my original setup to run on a 20 pound or 100 pound propane tank for emergency purposes. But this is a uh, adapter for a throwaway bottle. And as you see, I have my regulator and I have my uh, control valve there. Regulator regulates pressure but your valve here, your little T-valve, needle valve, regulates flow. That's what's also gonna set the RPMs of the engine. So what you wanna do is you want to set your choke to wide open. You don't want any choke whatsoever, okay? And all you have to do, all you have to do is you're gonna open up the little needle valve just till you barely hear the start of propane flowing and then it'll crank right up. Got to find a little sweet spot there. Then you'll adjust your um, needle valve and you'll hit a sweet spot and the engine will run completely smooth. Show it to you in just a moment. Okay, I just started this, this uh, propane uh, generator. And I'm going to show you now that it's running on propane and how it works. So as you see there, I cut it off with propane. You'll adjust it and hit that sweet spot um, to keep your uh, generator running like a kit, purring like a kit. That's all you need. 